Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today's topic is the famous Carnot cycle. So what are the things that we need to know about this life-changing cycle? So first, well, it is an ideal heat engine cycle by a French physicist, Sadi Carnot. It utilizes heat energy transferring from a heat source to a heat sink. In addition, it composes of four reversible processes. The reversible process means direction can be returned to its original position. Also, it uses ideal gas as its working medium. And no doubt, this is a perfect engine. No friction between piston and cylinder walls. And no heat transfer between the surroundings. And your system is considered. Now, let's discuss how this interesting cycle works by exploring its processes, the four reversible processes. So now, for the first process, process 1 to 2. This process is called isothermal expansion. Isothermal in thermodynamics means no change in temperature or in other words, temperature is constant or not changing within this process. So what happens here is that the heat energy from the heat source is transferred into the ideal gas. As a result, the gas expands which then increases the volume and decreasing the pressure. Now next, process 2 to 3, which is called an adiabatic expansion. Adiabatic in thermodynamics means that there is no heat transfer between surroundings and your system or to put simply all change in temperature is contained within a system which as a result making the entropy zero on this process our volume increases and pressure decreases third process is the isothermal compression so by compression it means volume is decreased and as a result pressure increases On this process, heat energy from the gas is transferred into the heat sink. And finally, the last process. The last process is called the adiabatic compression. Since it, it's an adiabatic, all change in temperature is contained within a system. And our entropy is zero. Also, since this is compression, it means our volume decreases while our pressure increases. So that's it. That makes it a cycle. So now, let me ask you this. Why Carnot cycle is the most efficient cycle? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because Carnot cycle is a perfect engine. The processes are reversible. Working medium is an ideal gas. And of course, the thermal capacity of heat source and heat sink is infinite, which makes no reduction to both during heat transfer as we have observed right but for all those same reasons it makes this cycle impossible to operate in our real world as obviously those things don't exist well of course we should not forget that it contributed so much today in fact it is a model of our car engines like auto and diesel cycle and so that's it once again this is easy engineering see you again for our other easy and fun engineering topics is engineering engineering topics made easy and fun for you